Blue and gold, sights seen around Connecticut, showing support for Ukraine. In Cromwell, these colors mean much more, making Connecticut a home away from home. Thank you, thank you. Simon Bobrovsky and Janet Argenta have become like mother and son in a matter of months. It's been going great. We first met Simon and his wife Dasha Sucknuk in April at Bradley International. They just landed in their new home. The couple fled Ukraine and ended up in Mexico, where an immigration attorney helped find them safety in America. We did not expect people to be that welcoming. The day we sat down to catch up with the family in their Cromwell home, Ukraine was heavily bombed. Dasha was too emotional to speak with us. She feels a very strong bond with Ukraine. The war has gone on for 146 days now. Simon is from Russia and says it's been hard to see his home country attack another. It feels bad inside that your country uh, gets, gets into this kind of conflict. Dasha is from Ukraine and still has family there. Her husband says people are getting used to the war, a war the two didn't leave behind. Instead, they've been raising money for Ukraine here in Connecticut. It's up to every single person, I think, to defend the one who's being attacked. Simon says they feel the support for Ukraine across the state on homes, roads and buildings. What's shocked you the most about America, good or bad? Things in America are very well groomed. I mean, like houses, lawns, uh, like cars. He notes freedom isn't free, that you have to work for what you want. That's been a challenge for the couple who's here on humanitarian parole as they aren't able to work or even drive. And people are very, very um, concerned about lots of things. We are not thinking in Ukraine because like we are uh, more about like surviving and stuff. But they are safe and he says that's what matters most. I had bedrooms and a bathroom and a place in my home and a place in my life where I could help them during the war. Janet isn't Ukrainian, nor does she have any ties to the country. She just felt the need to help. There's a lot of adjustments to make because I'm used to living by myself. The mom of two says it's been wonderful having two new children and showing them around New England. I love them and I had no idea that that would, you know, come to fruition. I just thought I would take care of people in my home, but you know, they've become family. She's with them on the best days and the worst as the war continues. It's easier with Simon because he talks, so it's we, we, we communicate about it. Where Dasha kind of brings it in inside and she copes with it alone and it makes me sad. The newlyweds are excited to honeymoon in Maine this month thanks to the generosity of others. Simon says they've only met good people in Connecticut, people who have proved to them they're still good in humanity. In Cromwell, Tony Black, Fox 61 News.